we have been a walking infirmary here as of late. Only two major injuries holding us back right now, and uh, but they're going to be out for a little while. So we'll get along without them. Elena hits his second injury this season. He may be turning out to be severely injury prone. Roll that intro. We'll be right back. Here's the highlights for last match against Gronigan. We are trying a little bit different tactic today. Just a minor tweak to see how it works. Case, I think, should have had that penalty. Came in the 83rd minute, and it was a 1-0 defeat. Case still had a great game. He's actually won three player of the matches uh, this season already. Uh, we were outshot 12-11. to We had possession in this one. A lot of cards, but most of them on their side. A few on ours. I mean, you know, we're not choir boys. But uh, that hurt. Yegu was injured for three weeks. Add him to the injury list. Ah, boy. I don't know what to do here. Taking a look at previous matches since the win over RKC. We had a one nothing win over PSB. Melvin Gerver, a set piece for our center back. Villem 2 beat us 2-1. to one. Elgero Neteb, another set-piece goal. Eindhoven, we beat 1-0. Neteb, another set-piece goal. Kind of a broken record here. Venlo beat us 2-1. to one. Chris Natumba got a goal in that one. And then the 1-0 defeat. So, you know, we've been consistent in scoring goals for the most part. But conceding, and I'll be honest, a couple of these, I went back to the... Uh, so we're playing the 4-2-3-1 right now. I dropped the number 10 back to a defensive midfielder, you know, more of a holding midfield position for defense. Didn't help us out. And then uh, the last last match, I went to a flat four uh, a flat four four two that we played last year. And then uh, we just went back to the 4-2-3-1, but moving the number 10 up to a second striker, which I think suits us a little bit better. So I think we're going to keep going with that. We do play Volendam today in the Dutch Cup first round. Let's get over to kickoff for that. All right, we're going to go with a pretty heavily rotated squad. It was only three days ago for the last match. We're going to give Dykes his uh, debut in goal. Uh, Vandergoes and Nimeth on the wings. Neteb. Samir comes back into the starting lineup in this one. Schroeder will play in mid, and Sakalo on the right-hand side. DeVries and Cervenka on the wings, and Hossick and Vicario will be up as our strike force. We do have most of our guys down on the bench, and Stratoslav, Elena, and Zegu are out. I ought to come up with a consistent name, but the inconsistency is the only consistency I have here, so we'll just have to go with that, I'm thinking. Trying to make sure my, my chair's locked. Oh, what do we want to tell them? We want to, uh, today's the day. All right, we're in the blue and white. And they are in those ugly, ugly orange colors, whatever color that is. Vander goes, crosses it in. Can't find a way to the striker. We play it back to the mid stripe. We reset and it's headed out again. Looks like they're really parking that back uh, back third. Good defensive takeaway there by Samir. Trying to see if we can do something here to break them down. Osik, he's playing pretty far back there. There's a cross, and DeVries gets caught up in traffic there. The ball gets knocked away. And another shot, that one by Vicario. I mean, you know, we've got a guy that was, you know, two guys that were starting strikers for us playing here this game. So we should be able to do a little bit better. Osik 
I haven't seen much of him. I, this, in fact, this could be his debut. For all I know, that was horrible, and that is going to just lead to a nasty-looking goal. Oh, it went wide. I'm guessing we got a save there because they get the corner. If that was a save, I think that was pretty outstanding in a debut because that guy had a wide-open goal. There was no reason for that not to be in the net. Uh, let's uh, demand more. DeVries is headed out. Cervenka brings it back up that flank. There's a cross in. Header's on target. Um, just not. This is one of those times where you just go, boy, I wish I was better at tactics. <laughs> So we've got heavy possession. Okay. Let's go there. Osset can play there. Yes, he can play there. Everything else looks right. Got a playmaker, a box to box. Let's change him to a ball winning. And he's got good passing, so let's keep him there. See if we can get something going here. All right, a layback up to Vanderghost. All right, well, that was interesting. <laughs> wow. It's like, you know, there's just a solid wall there. <laughs> solid wall. All right, Sir Bank is going to try it up the left flank here. Schroeder. He takes a crack. That's way off the mark. Um, let's fire them up because they just, they just seem to be lackadaisical right now. All right, Bacario. Into the attack. Beats his man. There's a cross and another block. Good tackle by Vandergoes, but it goes right to the opposing team. And there is a nice tackle, and nobody's on it. It goes right to the other team. Amazing, they cross the ball, and none of our guys are able to block it. That's weird. And I know, I know old lady plays. I know it's just a, you know, but still... How can my guys not ever get in the way? Oh, and that's... T oh. He should have had a wide-open shot there, and it's a slide tackle from behind. We're just getting... I think statistically we're dominating this match, but we are just appearing to get outplayed. Big time. You know what? On the attack, let's take that off. I'm not going to go hit early crosses, but I'm going to turn off work into the box. Maybe, maybe we'll be able to get a little more generated by just trying to pop it in. And there is a header by Samir, the center back, his second of the season, and we sneak a goal right in the waning seconds of the first half, and we will head into the locker room with what will appear to be a one nothing win. Samir dropped into space, went up between two defenders, got ahead on the ball, and slotted it home. That was a brilliant, brilliant goal. Um, I am going to point the finger... No, I guess I'm not going to do that. No, nope, can't do that one either then. Hands on hips. No. Far from please. Motivate them. Yeah, that's what we want. We wanted to motivate them. We couldn't give a gesture. Because they couldn't be motivated with a gesture. Really just want to see some better ball control and stuff. I mean, this is a game that we should be winning. Uh, you know what? 
looking at their tactic here. Can we play through the middle? See if we can take a little advantage of that. Now oh, that was a horrible, horrible play. All right, um, we've got three yellow cards, some key positions. I'm going to take Cervenka off. Let's put Shedahull on out there. Lucario's still looking good. Schroeder is having a good game. He's playing a 7-2. So Sakalu or let's bring Spans on for him. Spans is the lone player that we have from Sparta. Our senior affiliate that's at the same level. Oh, tackled away. There's a nice ball. Hossick. And I think he went, oh, the keeper looks frustrated with himself. Like he just carried it out of play. I guess we may actually have to go in at some point and do something with our set pieces. I'm just using the generic ones. He... That was weird. He just lumped it in the corner. Didn't have anybody even close to it. All right, some good ball movement there. Oh, Shedahull cuts inside. Nice. There's, oh, and Vicario slots it home. Finally getting on the score sheet for the first time. What a finish. Or the international from Curacao. That was a dead bang shot. And that was one of those plays that we never see. They did a tackle, and it went right to our guy, right in stride. It's amazing what you can do when that happens. Ossick looks like he has an injury, so let's see about pulling him off. What are we looking at, a thigh injury? Wants to stay on, but the injury is affecting him. Ossick for, he's in the Hacking. He's in the number 10, so yeah, let's bring Olivier on there. We'll confirm that one. He got some significant minutes in this one, and he he did well for himself. Oh, a little flick on header by Vicario, his second of the season, and that, and the game, by the way, and that makes it 3-0. We have looked a lot better here down the stretch. The long throw... I think the keeper would have had that, but Vicario was really smart, dropped back to the edge of that six-yard box, and was able to beat the keeper to the ball. All right. Oh, they just assume they're going to be able to pass the ball and not move and beat these guys. Get on him. Oh, knocked away. They're going to have a corner. Let's demand more. They have the corner. Ten minutes left. Ten and a half minutes left. We should be able to hold on here. Another long throw coming in from Nimeth. And that one's right to the keeper. Oh, he laces that one. That was a worm burner. And Vicario with the hat trick today. 4-0 for DeGroff Shop. And that was a stellar second half for Vicario. And I liked, look at the through ball there. I like playing it through the middle like that. We may have to look at doing that more often. Let me know in the comments, if you go play through the middle, can that be effective when you're playing against four midfielders or three midfielders You know, in the center? Obviously, we're doing well against two midfielders, but can we have success playing it through the middle like that? They manage five shots, zero on target. We actually get to a 50% ratio, which makes me happy. Going to the dressing room, we're going to go outstretched arms. I'm pleased with the result. And a shutout in his debut. We meet expectations. Hossick 
He's only going to be out a couple of days. Dykes makes a shutout on his debut. That is incredible. Schroeder made his debut as well. We pick up 58000 and some change. Macario. And this is why I wanted to start him. And I think, where's the guy that I'm looking for? There's Resnick. All right, so he can play the number 10. He can pass. Can we train him there? I think we're going to go back to that tactic. Let's go ahead and try to do some training for him just to see if he can pick it up. All right, well, that gets us into the second round. When is... I don't know when the draw is. Probably not for a while. Next match isn't for two a month and a half. Do we not play Ajax this year on camera? I could do that. Um, let's go ahead and get up to Eindhoven and then the Dutch Cup second round. That'll be the next episode, so I hope you come back for that. Guys, thanks so much for coming by. Again, please consider hitting the like button. Just helps more faces get onto the videos. Subscribe because I'm giving out that daily content for Football Manager FM21 Monday through Saturday. And I do appreciate you so much. Take care. Bye.